Brilliance, but today is the <laughs> um, Like most of you, we hate long intros, so we're just gonna get right into it. Let's get started. Round one is general knowledge, and Roxanne is answering first, so that's all you, Luke. Oh, uh, it's my turn. <laughs> yes. All right, you guys. Are you guys ready? Yes. All right. Question one, and these are written by Rachel for Roxanne. General knowledge: What movie is currently being reviewed as the highest-rated movie ever, beating Shawshank Redemption? Yeah, this should be general knowledge. <laughs> and I believe it is general I, knowledge. I believe this is uh, what well, is it? Rotten Tomatoes or IMDb? IMDb. Okay. According to IMDb, um, I'm gonna say Oppenheimer. <laughs> uh, the answer, Roxanne, you're gonna be kicking yourself is Dune Two. Oh, oh, Ryan oh just went and saw that. Oh my god, did they like it? I don't know. <laughs> I really want to go see it. Oh. Okay, so now um, you guys seen, Luke's you, going to ask me. Have you guys seen all the memes about f***ing the popcorn bucket? No. Having sex with the pop, the Dune Two popcorn bucket. Why? Because it's Timothy Chalamet or because no, it's Zendaya? They, uh, they made like these like popcorn buckets that literally, they, it's like the sandworm and it has like these little like rubber teeth and, and uh, they look very f***able. So now everyone's talking about f***ing the popcorn bucket. So they, they look like popcorn I hate it. <laughs> they look like giant worms, but like you can stick your f*** in. All right. Number one, general knowledge written by Roxanne for Rachel. And the question is. Whose tour started recently titled Guts? What? This is not, I have no <laughs> idea. Um, titled Guts. Whose tour started recently titled Guts? It's, it's got to be country music. And I'm going to go with... Oh my God. Who sings, um, who sings Whiskey Glasses? <laughs> Why do I not? Why? Morgan Wallen. <laughs> I'm going to go with Morgan Wallen. All right. Before I give you the answer, why did you think it had to be country music? I don't know. Because it was me, probably. Yeah. It just felt like. And also Guts. I mean, the only other thing I would say is Guts is like say, Taking Back Sunday or something. Like something super emo. Okay. Well, actually, you're on the right path because I think she has a little emo kick going. It's mm -hmm. Olivia Rodrigo. Oh, I would have never guessed it was Olivia Rodrigo. Yeah, Why is she like guts? That's so well, stupid. Well, and then it's all over my For You page. So I was like, I feel like this has to be like going on everywhere. I don't know. I'm barely on TikTok, so. Uh, <laughs> all right, round two, music. Are you guys ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. Written by Rachel. We're zero to zero. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are off to a terrible start for your first episode. <laughs> um, in January of 2007, which song from a Ben Gibbard-led band was prominently featured in a national UPS commercial. A uh, Ben Kipper. This is kind of a, by so, the way, a two-part question. So it's kind of not fair, but whatever. Yeah, I don't, because I can't, if I give you the name of the band, it really gives it away. But, so hey. I gave you the name of the lead singer. All right, I if know, you get but... the band, if you get the band, it's uh, a point. If you get the name of the song, it's a bonus point. Okay, fine. Say it. One more time. Repeat in the January question. of 2007, which song from a Ben Gibbard led band was prominently featured in a national UPS commercial? Ben Gibbard. UPS commercial are always my favorite. Do I know literally? <laughs> okay, I, when when you I know remember, the answer, you're gonna like literally know. I exactly. remember that day in 2007. <laughs> you're. I swear you. This was so prominent. Like like it came on. And everyone who like liked emo music and whatever was like, I recognize this song. Like you know this song. I know Ben uh, Gibbard. While, while Roxanne is thinking about it, just for the viewers out there, um, Roxanne should get music questions right because she has a long tenured career of a as a music supervisor. So music is her whole life. I really thought that you'd get anything music that I put. I was like, I have to make it kind of difficult. Okay, no. See, Rachel thinks they give me way too much credit. Also, in 2007, I was 12, and it was it an emo band. Ben Gibbard. I can't think of who that is because it's not Fall Out Boy. It's not Taking Back Sunday. It's not Panic at the Disco. Do you want a hint? Yeah. <laughs> that is one of the lifelines. Are you taking one of your lifelines? I know. God, this is embarrassing. But I mean, off to a good start. Um, Yeah, give me a hint. All right, go for it, Rachel. Um, ben Gibbard's other band. This is a huge hint. Ben Gibbard's other band was Death Cab. 
That's who Ben okay, Gibbard so, is? Yeah. Ben, oh, he used, was also married to Zoe Deschanel. Ooh, I used to love yes. Death, Death Cab. Cab. Oh, um, oh my god. Okay, hold on. Can, can I can I give a better hint? <laughs> sure, give a better the hint. The name of the band makes so much sense for UPS. For the Postal UPS. Service? The Postal Service? Yes. Yeah, no, what's the song? No, the Postal Service is... No, the lead singer of that is um, Jack, is Andrew McMahon. No, <laughs> wait, it's, it's yes. Ben Gifford. No, it's Andrew McMahon. No, I'm going to look it up. He's, I swear. He's dark blue. Did she get the fucking um, question Jack's wrong? mannequin. Lead vocalist of Death Cab and a member of the supergroup, the Postal Service. <laughs> No, considering consi- consi- Postal Service, American indie pop group from Seattle, consisting of singer Ben Gibbard. Okay, <laughs> wait. No, the Postal Service is. Um... We have our first argument on Broken Brilliant. Our music supervisor doesn't believe the question's answer is correct. I lost my. We're know. looking this up, but like I'm right. <laughs> I was like, I love Ben Gibbard. I know it's right. Okay, number two. Number two, music. <laughs> Who was the? F- this is. By Roxanne for Rachel. Who was the first American Idol winner? Oh my god, I know. It was um, Justin. Right? Or did Kelly win? I just want to say... It was Kelly or Justin. I got this question Hold on. right. It was Kelly or Justin. But why do I feel like Kelly was a backup? Like she was the second. Oh my god. See, this is, this is much more general. <laughs> um... I'm going to go Kelly Clarkson. That Final. is correct. It is Kelly correct. Clarkson. It is now one to one. But the other, what was the movie? From Justin, Justin to Kelly? Kelly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. From Number Justin three, movies. This is a, uh, a fan favorite. And by fans, I mean, it's my favorite. Um, what movie features <laughs> oh the now infamous line, ask me about my wiener? Oh, um, accepted. That is correct. It is accepted. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. That one was easy, but Ask I mean... Ask me about my wiener. <laughs> that is an underrated movie. It's really great. If you've never yes. seen it, watch it. Um, all right, I movies. What was the first feature-length animated movie ever released? Come on, Rachel. First feature-length ever released. N- animated. Sleeping? No. Snow White. Final. That is correct. Snow White. It is now Woo! 2 2 Thank you, Kelsey, for all your Disney exactly. knowledge. Yeah, like, I was like, think all right, number of me. Four, four, <laughs> TV. All right. Uh, We're doing pop culture <clears throat> here. Which show did Hugh Grant and Nicole Kidman <laughs> star in together on HBO? Which show? This is Hugh such a mean Grant. question. Why? This is a popular show. It was, is but it was like popular? the title of it is so forgettable. Yeah, that's okay, true. Wait. Hugh Grant and Nicole Kidman Yeah. were on a TV show together. Yes. On HBO. On HBO. On HBO. Nicole Kidman? I'm literally thinking... Um, Nicole Kidman and Hugh Grant. Um, um, I don't know. I, I yeah, this was up. a mean question. The answer is The Undoing. The Undoing. Yeah, very forgettable title. It was a good show. It was, watched... like a, it was like a... No, you watched it because it's in our list of shows that we watched. I, I went checked, through that list. And I checked my... Oh, okay. <laughs> it was a murder without, mystery, I mean, right? Ter- yeah, me and yeah. Tara watched it. No, was Sorry, Tara and I. Um, all right. TV for Rachel. You ready? What did Lucille Balls try to sell in a television commercial on I Love Lucy? Also a mean question, Roxanne. Okay, so I, it's kind of evenly mean. Yeah, I was like, I don't know this at all. I've never even seen I Love Lucy. This is like... I know that it's Lucille Ball. That's like about the only thing I know about. I love Lucy. Um, what did she try to sell? I'm going to guess based on the time period, a vacuum. That was my guess. That's not okay, right. Okay, that's really funny. <laughs> it's, uh, you want to pronounce that? Vitamina, Vitamina Benjamin. Like all the meat you know and the memes. Vita- no, that, that's like the biggest because she couldn't say it. Yeah, you guys were mean on that better. one. That was a mean round. Well, we wanted to make very, sure the questions are I difficult. Like that's very common. All right, we remain two to two. Roxanne versus Rachel. Uh, category five is food, snacks, and or drink. Food, snacks, or drink. Um, ready, uh, Rox? Yeah. Which brand of drink used to sell a variety of flavored burst drinks with twist-off bottle caps? Burst. I want to say like Fanta. I think like the more specific, like no, the part no, no. that twist. Oh, yeah. Squirt. 
She already used her hint lifeline, so she has one left. One. Um, <laughs> twist. I'm going to say, yeah. Um, wait, so you're saying that needs to be more specific than Fanta? No. Oh. You, you Are you leading? You can't lead. We're not leading. We're talking. She asked me. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Ask me on my oh, winner. <laughs> I'm going to say Fanta again. Fanta is wrong. incorrect. Sorry, it is Kool-Aid. Do you remember like the twist off tops? Yes, okay. All right. Rachel, are you ready? Yes. For food, snacks, and drink. What condiment was used for its medical qualities in the 1800s? I do not know why, but I feel like this is ketchup. And so I'm going to go with ketchup. Final answer? Should I not make that my final answer? Should I get a hint? <laughs> um, who's winning? Am I? Oh, is it tied? Uh, it's tied right it's now. It's two to two, yeah. It's two to two. Yeah, no, I'll just final answer. Ketchup, ketchup. ketchup is correct. And yes. uh, Roxanne went ahead and left a little factoid here. Uh, in the 1830s, tomato ketchup used to be sold as a medicine claiming to cure ailments like diarrhea, indigestion, and jaundice. <laughs> wow, cure all. Well, thank you, John Cook Bennett, for a delicious condiment. Well, I also just feel like, what a lie. Like, it's so acidic. It just, like, makes my stomach hurt sometimes. No, for I, sure. I'm like, I don't sense. understand how that... If I was also, drinking it, yeah. I think I'd feel bad. Also, jaundice? Like, how does that affect your... Li- I don't know. It's... I think it would give me diarrhea. Yeah. It probably has, <laughs> especially with all the preservatives. Well, on that in note, uh, six, <laughs> dealer's choice. Are you ready, Roxanne? Yes. All right. What was the first American company to reach an evaluation of over $1 trillion? Company? First company? First American company. First American company? I'm going to say Microsoft. Is it a final answer? Yeah. (coughs) The correct answer is Apple. You were on the right track. They were. I I was like literally everything in this room. I was like like, in between. Well, the first one though wasn't Microsoft before Apple. But I think they were billionaires first, and then Apple was a trillionaire first. Um, See, I wouldn't know. All right, dealer's choice. Are you ready, (laughs) Rachel? Ralph. Luke lost. Not me, Luke Skywalker. Lost which of his hands in a fight with Darth Vader? I have both hands. Oh my god. I think this is right. His right hand. Final fi- answer. Final answer. That is correct. Yes. I was like, I know Star Wars. I <laughs> just can't be something like crazy. Sometimes Star Wars questions are like no, that's really what, crazy. Was, I was like, I feel like most people, if you watch it, you should know that. I've barely seen them. I got so. that one because I second guessed myself because I was like, maybe I'm like yeah. watching it from the flipped angle, so it's actually the left hand. Well, I was thinking, isn't it the same hand that Darth Vader loses? And since okay. I love Anakin. So also, I asked Jack. I also asked Jack this, and he goes, wrong, that's a trick question, um, Anakin lost his hand. And I literally Googled, does Luke lose his hand, and sent it to him. He goes, oh, well, left then. <laughs> well, yeah, because Anakin loses his hand, Yeah, and I that. if you grew up more with that one, which we kind of did, mm-hmm. because the old ones are old, then you're like, oh, okay, so Darth Vader is also missing a hand. Yeah. I mean, you know, like father, like son. Literally. Yeah. All right, you guys ready? to? Okay, so seven is a is a specialty round for this podcast. Do you want to explain what it is, girls? So our seventh round is going to be deconstructed. Basically, we are describing something to the other player or our hostess, and the least amount of clues you get, the more points you get. So this could be some way of one of us coming from behind. So Luke, go for it. All right, Rachel, you ready? No, wait, just kidding. Roxanne, are you ready? Yeah. The first piece of the puzzle <laughs> is a soul a soul like can you spell that for me i cannot spell it for you s-o-l-e or s-e-o-u-l that's why he can't spell it okay is it a, okay but i need to know is it a soul of a shoe or is it a soul that in my body? Is, you're gonna have to put your faith in god on it's that a one. play on words you gotta figure it out a soul see this is some bs <laughs> Luke's with me on this because he helped me come up with this. <laughs> ah, I'm over married friends. Anyways, um, a soul, a soul, the shoe. Final answer. Yeah, it is shoes. <laughs> yeah, S O L E. Yeah, I was like, what? Uh, well, you know, you got you got to try. The main material contents of these are metal, glass, and inert gas. Wait. 
inert gas? What the hell is an inert gas? <laughs> Listen, I'm just reading the questions. All I can think is a light. Like, I feel like it... Can you hear my stomach? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's like a fluorescent light. I'm not going to answer yet, though. Okay, next clue. You want your second clue, Rachel? Yes, please. Alessandro Volta, Humphrey Davy, and Joseph Swan played a critical role in the development of this technology. That's a mean clue, Roxanne. I was like, that doesn't help at all. But please repeat it. Alessandro Volta, Humphrey Davy, and Joseph Swan played a critical role in the development of this technology. Of this technology? I don't know why I'm still thinking it's a light bulb. Ugh. Just give me this next one, please. This is for your one point clue. Yeah. There are three main types. Incandescent, including- It's a light bulb. It's a freaking light bulb. It's a light bulb. And light emitting diodes, LEDs. Oh my God. I knew it was a light bulb. I, I should have just smart. gone with my I gut. You're so smart. <laughs> is, it, is that your final answer? Yeah, it's final answer. It's not a light bulb. Is this? Yeah, it's a light bulb. I was about to, I was like literally about to flip like, you off on is, camera. I was like, wait, is this a trick? So now we're tied. We're tied. All right, tie, tiebreaker question for both of you. I'm going to look up a tiebreaker question. <laughs> oh, okay. We lo- Get into we, it, host. We love an impromptu <laughs> Well, you guys breaker. didn't come up with a tiebreaker thing, so. We didn't think this was going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Came down to the final round. Thank God. I'm not, okay, now, now we're back to being impressed. All right. <laughs> I'm going to give you guys a tiebreaker question. The closest... The closest. The clo- yes. No, no price is right rules. Yeah, no price is right rules. The closest uh, right answer gets it. It's it's a number question. Okay. How long in meters was the Titanic? And please uh, write down write it down on a piece of paper and then read it out so loud. So we can't or write change it. How long in meters was the Titanic? Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll go Roxanne. 1900. 1900. Oh my god. There's no way. That is the largest ship on earth. <laughs> There's no way. That I was like, that's way too big. A beast. Big. All right. 5, oh yeah, you're right. It's R- a few miles. I, I don't think, I think you're going to win this one, Rachel. What is it? I mean, I thought I put a lot. I put 312. That was much closer. The answer is 269 yeah. meters. Oh, I was oh, like nice. very close. Yes. Well, you know what's funny? I literally thought about it and then as I wrote it, I was like, we're talking about meters, not feet. <laughs> she says 1900. I was like, no. no. 190? <laughs> Dude, that'd be a... Actually, I wonder what is... What's the biggest ship in meters? Okay, so the largest ship is only 458.46 meters. And that is... Oh this, it, it, it's an oil tanker known as the Sea Wise Giant. It is 1,504 feet. Wow. See, okay. When I was originally thinking feet, it's not too far. <laughs> yeah, meter that is that would be quite the ship. All right, so <clears throat> congratulations to Rachel for winning the first ever episode of Broke, Broke and Brilliant. <laughs> don't forget to check us out on all of our social media. We've got Twitter, YouTube. We do not have Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> we do. <laughs> We have TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram at Broke and Brilliant Trivia. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was like, oh, we do? Okay. That's B R O K E A N D B R I L L I A N T T R I B I A.